Now, in East Africa, all uniformed personnel formerly deployed to Darfur have been withdrawn from the Sudanese region. Atul Khari, the Under Secretary General for Operational Support, disclosed this today while giving an update of events in the region to the United Nations Security Council. Khari has said those who remain as staff involved in the liquidation and those that have constituted a uniformed guard unit. Khari's update comes after a recent visit to Sudan. The Under Secretary General added that he is grateful to the countries concerned in acknowledging the status of persons seeking asylum. This task involved the repatriation of almost 6,000 troops and police, as well as separation of almost 1,200 staff. It also involved consultation with all relevant stakeholders to ensure that uniformed members who expressed the desire to not return for reasons related to international protection needs were processed by the refugee authorities of the government of Sudan. I am grateful to the countries concerned in acknowledging that the status of these individuals in seeking asylum is a humanitarian act, not based on political consideration. I should note that the primary responsibility to provide security for these UN assets and personnel rests with the government of Sudan, and I am pleased to report that it is prepared to take necessary actions and do so in coordination with the Guard Unit. 